Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Man, I hope you guys are having a great day today so far. Let's get into our email. Let's see what we've got going on. Let's go down here to Brown Andrew. Brown Andrew. Hmm. <laughs> this email says, hello. I'm after a new rig. Can you build something good? Can you custom water cool the whole system? Can you finish before tomorrow? I like nice... And shiny new components. I'm a total Zotac fanboy. All right, so a budget of forty-five hundred dollars for a custom water-cooled computer for tomorrow. I think we can make that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's go to this here. This repair says hello. Something's definitely broken. I'll be playing a game or whatever, and then out of nowhere, the PC will restart. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I like new ones. Please. The vents look a bit clogged. Is that okay? Hope you can help. So he wants us to replace the PSU. I can't even talk. He wants us to replace the PSU and the SSD. I know we can make that happen as well. Let's accept that one. And then there was another. Let's see. This one is doing two days. It says, hi. Could you make some repairs? I'm not sure what's wrong. Can you have a look? I didn't realize there were clips for the RAM. And I got a bit violent. <laughs> oh, no. Can you do it in two days? I think I clicked on something bad. I was on PC Bay the other day and saw some awesome braided red cables. Thanks, Paul. Budget of $400 to diagnose and fix. I'm assuming maybe he needs a new motherboard. Or maybe he just broke his RAM. I don't know. But I know we will find out. Let's go ahead and accept that one. All right, let's go back down here to this build. I'm going to step away. Get some parts put in the shopping cart for this build, and I will be right back. For this custom water-cooled build, we're going to go with the Corsair Hydro X Series XC7 CPU block. We're going to go with an EK RGB reservoir, an EK 360mm RGB radiator, and a Zotac RTX 2080 Ti water-cooled. For the rest of the parts, let's get in here. We're gonna do the MSI MEG Z390 Ace and i9 9900KS. That's a new part to the game I haven't built with yet. Two sticks of Trident Z Royal 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, a team group, one terabyte SSD, a Patriot Viper, a two terabyte M.2 drive, 750 watt EVGA power supply. We're gonna put all of that in the Corsair Carbide series Spec Omega. I don't think I've actually built in this case at all. So it'll be interesting. See how it turns out. Let's go ahead and buy all of these parts. We will order the parts for our repairs when they come in. Let's go end our day. Let's get in our parts and our repairs and get to work. All right. Something from PC Bay. Get these fixes up here. I think it's dusty. That one there. Let's get our case. Put over here. Grab our post-it note for Brown Andrew. We'll put there. All right. Let's get the side of this thing off. He wants us to... Oh. Oh, this is one of those cases where the PSU things just stick out the side. Look, that's, that's a connector. It doesn't even have... It doesn't even have a wire attached to it. It's just a hovering connector. Oh my. Alright, let's get this thing cleaned out. That's why I prefer the modular power supplies, especially in these small cases. Okay. Oh, there's some dust there. Did I get it all? Possibly. Let's get these cables disconnected. Get this other side of the case off. Get everything disconnected. This is dusty. There's still dust over here. Let's fix that. Get this PSU out of here. Is this the SSD they want replaced? Take a look. Let's take a look. 
Yep, that is broken. And their power supply is also broken. So TX750M. Let's go order one of those. Power supply. Let's get one of those. And I don't remember what their storage was. What the heck was that? It was the T Force Vulcan 250 gig. A Vulcan 250. Okay. Let's add that to the cart. We got both of those things in the cart. So let's leave this for a minute. Let's go check on this one. Maybe we can order all of our parts at the same time. Man, that's a big case for such a tiny little motherboard. How, how the heck? Hold on. How the absolute heck is this water AI water cooler mounted inside this drive cage um yeah okay hopefully we don't have to touch that let's see if this thing powers on no ram no ram okay do we have to replace the motherboard hopefully not hopefully it's just the stick of ram Let's take a look here. There's a stick of broken Trident Z Silver 16 gig 4000 megahertz. Let's go order one of those. 16 gig 4000 megahertz. There we go. Let's add that. Let's just go ahead and buy all of this stuff. Same day delivery. Hopefully that's all we're going to need. We'll find out though. We'll find out. If we have to if we have to buy more, it's not the end of the world. So let's get whoops. Let's get this old one gone. This new stick of RAM installed. Cause I don't wanna have to touch this. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to fix. So let's just hope this starts. Okay. Okay, now we're probably just down to viruses, so let's get a USB drive in there. I mean, there's no way those fans would be spinning. That's This is hilarious. <laughs> let's get our virus scanner on here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Must be booting off a hard drive. It's slow. Let's scan this thing for viruses. 431. All right. Let's clean that up. Okay, good. We didn't have to touch that, that crazy mess. I don't know what's going on with it, but we're going to leave it alone. <laughs> Let's get this thing out in the hallway. Let's go back to work on this other one over here. Let's get their new SSD. Let's get rid of this broken one. Bye. Get this new SSD mounted. As well as their new power supply. Let's get rid of this broken one. We'll get our $3 for that. I'm trying not to spend that all in one place. Okay. Okay. Did they have... I thought they said something about a different color. They say something about a different color. No, not this one. Was it the other one? Dang it. Braided red cables. Braided red cables. Well, I about I almost screwed that up. I almost screwed that up. Let's do it. Let's do braided red cables. I don't know what's going to end up being braided red because they have a non-modular power supply. Uh, maybe these couple of purple ones they've got. Let's get that out of the way. They do have an SSD in here. They're just not booting from it. 
Oh my. Oh my. Let's get rid of those. Let's cable all that up with red. There we go. There we go. Let's make sure it boots. While it's booting, I'm going to get the side panels put on. Okay. Okay. Now we've got everything they want. Now it's all in there. Okay, we can go back to this one. They have in here. They have green. I don't remember what they had. I think it was green. Like maybe this plain green. I think that was it. Whoop, that was the power button. Let's get everything cabled up. I need to turn this around the other way because I'm going to keep clicking on other stuff that is very incorrect. Let's see if this thing powers on. See if it has any other problems. No OS found. Oh, right. Right, because I replaced their boot drive. Right, yeah. Okay. I'll give you that game. <laughs> that was my bad. There we go. Let's get this case put back together so we can laugh at the cables that stick out the side from the power supply. That's the best part of doing this. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. That's just a connector. Just... Just hanging out, no wire, just just a connector. Just a connector. All right, let's get this out in the hall. We can get started on this build, this custom water-cooled build. Let's take this case apart. Hopefully we won't have any weird wire issues with this one. Let's see, let's take this off as well. I don't know if it needs to go, but we're gonna move it. I know that needs to go. And that needs to go. So we'll get those out of the way. That probably needs to go too. Bye bye. Bye bye, drive cage. All right, let's get our motherboard in. We've got the MSI MEG Z390 Ace. Oh, those are incompatible. Let's do that. Let's do fits this PC. Let's get this motherboard installed. There we go. Let's get this thing ready for RAM and CPU. The CPU, we've got the i9-9900KS. Get that installed. And then for the RAM, we've got two sticks of Trident Z Royal in silver. 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. I like the silver. I feel like the gold is just too gaudy for my taste. I wish they made it in black, but with this, with that cover over the RGB LEDs that make it look like ice or something. Because that looks cool. It'd be nice if the RAM, the sides were just black. I'd like that. If they ever make that, I'm going to have to buy some. Let's get thermal paste on there. Let's grab our CPU block. We've got the Corsair Hydro X Series XC7. Let's get that on. Let's also go ahead, let's get our radiator. Got the cool stream from EK, 360 millimeter RGB. There we go. And then we'll grab our reservoir. It's also an EK, it's the 140 Revo RGB. We will get that installed. Let's go ahead, let's grab our power supply, which is this EVGA Supernova 750 watt. We'll get that installed. Get this thing ready for its graphics card. But before we do that, let's get some storage in here. We've got a two terabyte M.2 drive. Let's put that here. We've got a one terabyte Standard SSD, SATA, SATA SSD, there we go. 
We'll get that installed on that side. Let's grab our graphics card. Oh, look, there we go. The Zotac 2080 Ti Arctic Storm. We'll get that installed as well. I think we're ready to cable this thing up and then we will start doing our piping. Let's do some cyan. I think Zotac stuff kind of lights up in this color. If I remember right. Get everything cabled up here. There we go. And now we're ready to run pipe. Let's do clear. And we'll do white fittings just for fun. Go from there to there. Oh, I can tell this one's going to be one of those. I might have to step away. Let's kind of shift this in just a little bit. What is happening? What's this thing doing? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Let's do that one like that. And run from here to the reservoir. That's fine. Reservoir down here to the graphics card. Let's see if we can straighten that up just a bit. Yeah, I like that better. I'll run from the graphics card over here. I almost don't hate the way that looks. You know what? I'm going to leave that one. That's the first time I think that's ever turned out kind of the way I like it. Huh. Let's get some coolant in there. Let's do some more cyan. I'll let that run through. While that's running through, though, let's start putting some case parts back on here. Get that top panel on. Let's get the front panel on. We'll get this side panel on. And this side panel. Okay. Also, let's grab a USB drive. We'll get that installed and we can power this thing up. We'll hop into our BIOS. We will turn on our XMP. Make sure we're booting from the right drive. Probably have to change some colors. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to change some colors. Let's get our lighting app on. Okay. Yep. Zotac's kind of a cyan color. Make everything match. There we go. Yeah. Other than the writing on the side of this power supply glitching out, everything looks really good. I like the way that turned out. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get this thing out in the hallway. We can collect some money. So we've got this fix. Let's collect that one. Five stars. Perfect. Go down. Let's collect this one. Five stars. And this build, this build better be five stars. There we go. Five stars. Excellent. Excellent. Got some new parts unlocked. We've got the i9-10940X and another gigabyte TRX 40 motherboard. Got some daily deals. Really, that's it? Just two things? That's not very exciting. We've got some more emails. More episodes. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.